Good evening to you. An unusual theft at a Madison County store caught on tape. Tonight, police have arrested a man they say stole a baby ferret. Police say that 20-year-old Richard Lovell stole the animal from a Berea pet store earlier this month. Tonight, the ferret is back at the store. Phil Pendleton tells us how social media helped police crack the case. It's our top story at 11. They're really sleepy. Only nine to ten weeks old, but already this little creature has had quite the adventure, but not the good kind. You wouldn't imagine somebody would steal an animal like a ferret, especially a baby ferret. If that's what police say the two people in this video are seen doing, taking the tiny animal by stuffing her into a jacket. The crime happened back on January 12th. The pet store owner quickly put it on his Facebook page, and people responded. That's what did it. I mean, you know, if we hadn't had the video, they would they would have never been able to find out who it was. Police say the man seen taking the fare is 20-year-old Richard Lovell of London. Once the video went viral on Facebook, the ferret was returned, although she was in very poor health. And she was really dirty. She was covered in fleas. So I don't know where she was kept, but it was definitely not a good place. Richard Lovell was charged with theft by unlawful taking under $500. He was arrested by Kentucky State Police in Laurel County. Arrest warrants have been issued for a second person seen in that video. From what I've heard from the public, they've been causing problems for for you know, the area really. Lichen says the animals require special care, which he says he doubts the thieves or possibly even their buyer knew much about. She probably ate for a solid 10 minutes when we got her back. The ferret will stay at the store for another week before she's ready for adoption in Madison County. She's much happier now. Phil Pendleton, WKYT. And police say they're looking for a 19 year old they say was with Lovell during that theft. They also charged Lovell with unlawful transaction with a minor.